Pulse desktop application is a browser automation project written in VB.NET 4.0. It's used to submit our clients to destinations such as Google and Facebook. This video is intended for developers who will create additional Pulse destinations. And I'll be using Bing as an example. There's another introductory video for provisioning uh, who will be using the application called Pulse Facebook Intro and I suggest that you watch that video prior to this one. So the Pulse application is divided into four components. The provisioning form that you see here, the browser process, the browser steps, and the web service APIs. Um, so this is the provisioning form. Um, as I mentioned, it's discussed in detail in another video. So we'll be concentrating on the other components. The second component is the browser process, which is the base class that each destination class will inherit from. And it provides methods such as invoke step and is step flagged. Uh, what we'll be concentrating on and having you develop is the third component, which are the browser steps. Uh, the browser steps are destination specific steps and milestones. And I should point out the difference between a destination and a placement. Uh, in this example, Facebook is the destination, and a placement is a client submission to that destination. So all destination-specific classes will reside in the placement script folder that you see here. And in this example, I have the Facebook provisioning.vb open. Um, each of these scripts contain the properties, placement definitions, steps, and supporting methods. So I'll open up the step definitions. And as you can see, uh, the different Facebook steps, login, page create, page create complete, uh, and so on. And uh, as far as the parameters of these methods, uh, you have the step ID, um, the function, the method that you'll be calling, the step name, in this case it's Facebook login, and these are things that the user will see in the interface, uh, as well as the step description, the process pulse flag. So this will be the corresponding pulse flag, and pulse flags are bitwise numbers that are stored in the database to tell us where uh, a placement is in the placement creation process. So the parameter after that is called completes pulse flag. If this is set to true, then basically you're telling the system that that actual milestone has been completed. So for these first three, you can see that they're set to false Actually, the first two are set to false, and the third one is set to true. Meaning, okay, now three steps of the milestone has been completed, so now set that milestone to true. Milestone completed true. Basically, that allows us to... Um, having several steps make up a milestone, and marking that milestone completed um, or not completed allows us to finish steps in that milestone to go back and finish it. If, for example, if step three of three failed, we can actually go back in uh, knowing that that milestone has not been completed. Um, in addition to the definitions in, of the steps, uh, here's the actual browser step functions. And for this, we use a third-party software called Whatin. Um, it's used for the actual browser automation functionality. Uh, Whatin is a web application testing kit, and it can be downloaded at whatin.org. Um, and here's an example in the browser step functions of actually interacting with Whatin. Uh, so here, you're saying. Uh, text underscore pass w is a text field 
and browser.txt field find by ID. So it's pretty simple well, once you get the hang of uh, the what in process. So we talked about the provisioning form, the browser process, the browser steps, and then the fourth component is the APIs, and these are web services. So these will actually be created by us, um, and they are destination specific. So you'll see here an example, uh, this is for Facebook. And here's some of the methods, uh, the get and set methods, Facebook placement list get. Uh, down here we have Facebook set. So as I mentioned, these will be created for you um, in our example, Bing. And all you have to concentrate on is the class that will go in the placement script. So in our example, we'll have one called Bing provisioning uh, .vb. Um, so that's a look at the code. Uh, now I'd like to show you the actual Bing placement steps from a front end standpoint. Uh, and this is what you'll be converting to uh, the Pulse framework. So the first step in the Bing destination process is creating a Windows Live ID. So your application will just go ahead and open this browser. And as I mentioned before, um, each browser step corresponds to one input screen. So in this example, your milestone might be uh, Windows Live account created. And the first step is clicking the Sign Up button. Um, so your browser automation using what in will populate these form fields and I should point out that pulse you know wherever we can we try to make things automated but of course there are some manual pieces involved in this an example is here where you have to enter the captcha um, so we'll pause for the user entering of the captcha and the user will click the I accept button Email verification will actually be handled by a process that we build. So you're, you, you can ignore the email verification process, but basically we build the logic that will log into the email account, open the, me the email, and click the verification link. <clears throat> so the next step will be opening another browser window. Um, and we, we do recommend to users you know that they close browser previous browser windows so this will be a new milestone with with different steps and the first step to this would be to sign in with that newly created Windows Live account username password and then click the get started now which is going to attempt to find that business in Bing to see if it exists or not or not already so you click the search button First, populate the fields, click the search button. It'll tell you if no matches are found. Then you're going to click the add new listing button. Pop up window, ask for the phone number, another CAPTCHA, some contact information. Uh, click the I agree checkbox and uncheck the receive communications. Click the accept button. Um, what kind of business is this field, which is categories? You'll get a little category pop up window where you can select categories, um, upload logo, um, and specialties, um, which is another pop-up. This screen we could ignore. Uh, basically, you can adjust the level of categories. Um, another screen we can skip, which is related to, to mobile. Photos, we can skip for now. Um, there's several fields that we have to populate on the more details tab. Um, year established, tagline description, languages, hours of operation, which you'll see once that hours of operation checkbox is checked, we get an hours of operation pop-up. And the same with the payment types accepted. Almost to the end now, we click verify by mail. Uh, what will happen is our client will receive in the, in snail mail um, in their mailbox a postcard with a verification pin number so it tells you here 
To verify your listing by mail, a letter containing a PIN will be mailed to, and then if you click the Send Mail button, you're done with the process. Uh, step two will be at, at a later time where the client receives a postcard and now needs to enter the PIN. And that's it. Um, thank you for watching this video.